Hi there, welcome into Energy Upgrade Feng Shui Tips 2022. I am Elisa Albin. I am a Feng Shui Master and Quantum Energy Alignment Practitioner. And you are about to participate in a process I created during the COVID pandemic in the very early stages, and it's called Energy Upgrade. I'll be integrating the ancient along with the modern and quantum. Um, you may be familiar with the Yi Jing, the ancient book of changes, and that's what I'll be consulting to get a read on our current cosmic energy. And then I will be integrating in some of the quantum using an advanced software that has been imbued with the most powerful protocols of all the most pure and innocent healers and masters that I've ever come to meet and has only been touched with positive intentions. Using these modalities combined is very, very powerful and you'll get a good sense of where you are in relation to your goals, your journey um, in, in a, approaching them. And my goal is to give you a sense of clarity so that we can move forward with confidence and joy and eventually step into our best lives and desires. I invite you to please make sure you're fully hydrated if you haven't yet already, make sure you have your favorite beverage nearby, take a couple sips. It's important that we're fully hydrated when we're exchanging energy. Our bodies are at least 70% water and electricity travels best and currents travel best through water, we know that. So I want you to be fully hydrated and I want you to be present. Make sure you have a notebook nearby, a beautiful pen that you like to write with that flows and isn't gonna give you a hassle and write out your goals and desires if you haven't already and your intentions that you hope to take in this next week. Um, and just really, really be present. Picture, picture your intentions and picture that goal that you're gonna be stepping into very, very soon. If you've been with me for a while, I appreciate each and every one of you. I enjoy reading your comments. I'm so happy for those of you who are, have made great progress in this journey. Um, if you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I'm gonna do these energy upgrades, you'll get a notification and you'll have the information right away rather than stumbling upon me by accident. But it's by no accident if you did stumble upon me, um, it's for a reason. And I would love to hear if what I say resonates with you on any level so I can um, build upon that resonance and we'll continue these stories together. Whatever doesn't resonate with you, just leave. Um, you know, leave, leave that behind. It's not for you to own then, um, but maybe this will be entertaining for you and you can leave with some feng shui insight and, um, and some positive energy at minimum, right? So if you've already become hydrated and you have your pen and you've written down your goals and your intentions and you wanna stick with me, let's get started. So first we're gonna start with divining of the ancient Yi Jing. And I've already um, written out that the intention of this reading is to please tell me what is the energy surrounding those wishing to receive an energy upgrade as of February 25th, 2022, and thank you. And what resulted were two very beautiful hexagrams telling the story of hexagram number 22, Grace and Beauty really, really beautiful in this energy of mountain a mountain above and fire below. Mountain above and fire below, beautiful, beautiful energy. So right now we're in the current energy of grace and beauty. And I'm gonna tell you the story of that um, as we get going and we're shifting into hexagram 32, the energy of endurance, also called continuing. Uh, this is thunder above and wind below. Before we get any further, I want to get a read on our emotional aura so I can calibrate our frequencies, making sure that we have no Swiss cheese auras around us. As we have a lot of stress permeate our lives, um, perhaps illness, stress, anxiety, all of these, all of these stressors um, can cause tears and permeations in our aura field surrounding our body here. So we want to make sure that our aura field is beautiful, it's in its right, it's radiating the right colors and frequencies, and that it's also whole. There's no tears, there's no holes, allowing any permeations um, to really um, muck up our energy, especially at this time as we're being so focused moving towards that best self. So with the intention and using this quantum software, 
I ask that you be present if you're willing to receive this energy. We're going to get a read on our emotional aura field right now. This is something you may say, yeah, that's me 100%, or maybe it's your mom you've been on the phone with for three hours. Um, so right now, there is an issue lingering within your emotional aura field of unceasing emotional abuse. And there's a lot of underlying issues there. Just because this is a lengthy list doesn't mean that um, there's anything broken at all. In fact, um, it requires a maintenance of our energy when we are able to pull out the negativity, cut ties, so on and so forth. It's not a one and done. This is something we need to check in with ourselves on a frequent basis. And so underlying this family issue of unceasing emotional abuse, there is also the negativity of all relationships inside and outside of the family. So there might be something negative surrounding these relationships that are family based. So maybe there's interrelationship problems that are family based, either those that are inside or outside these units. Also a negativity of want to feel like I'm the only one. So this, again, if this resonates with you, let me know. But what we're gonna do is bring these energies back into harmony, accessing energy that we need and frequencies that we need to be whole and removing that which no longer serves us. So again, these this may be something that you're feeling um, as I send this energy, but many of you may not feel something. I'm curious, let me know your thoughts. So empowerment, accessing my inner strength, okay? There's a negative self-trait of gullible and, um, and a self-negativity of this isn't how my life was supposed to be. Does this resonate with you in any way? We're going to make sure that we access what we need and remove these negativities. Um, accessing an empowerment of I am secure, really, really important here. Accessing ability to respect self and others. Um, something within the work field, a communication style being short, um, and this can apply to yourself or maybe those around you as well. Um, another empowerment issue, a negative trait of my thoughts don't matter and I don't matter, so I'm, I am meaningless. This may be something that you have said at one time or thought. Remember, our thoughts and our words are really important. So let's get this harmonized, sending these frequencies and we'll be removing that which no longer serves. So again, please be fully hydrated during this process. Um, if possible, it may help you to have two feet on the ground as you're receiving this or picture yourself being grounded to the core of the earth. Okay. So these frequencies are being sought out and relieved and calmed. And the idea is to reduce stress in this process. I'm going to let this do its work and I'm going to continue back into the ancient. Okay, so interestingly enough, I don't pre program or script any of these sessions. Um, it is what it is, right? So sometimes it may be something that we don't want to hear, um, and I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It just is how it appears, and that's what's great about the Yi Jing is um, you know, it removes your ego from assessing. Um, questions or um, you know making making a decision this helps to bring clarity okay so what the ancient Yi Jing is saying right now is this current energy of grace and beauty it's unstable and it's shifting into continuing and endurance really really beautiful energy though what this energy tells us is there is no need for you to fake it till you make it you don't have to put on false pretenses it doesn't even matter if you have your earrings on or that you're, you know, you're looking, you know, amazing doing what you're doing as you're moving towards this goal that you wrote down, that goal that you wrote down. It doesn't matter. You don't need to fake it till you make it. You don't have to be perfect because what makes you appealing to anyone around you and also opportunities is that you are unique. You are special. So as we're talking about energy, as we're welcoming people into our lives, I don't know if your goal pertains to a person or if your goal pertains to opportunities, perhaps the energy is the same. You want to welcome and attract the energy that resonates with you. And for that to happen, you need to let your uniqueness shine. So those things that you feel are 
imperfect about yourself are probably adorable to everyone else and these opportunities are going to be even more unique for you the more unique you are so don't tamper down yourself let yourself be who you are and shine in your authenticity because the things that make you less than perfect are going to make you the most attractive uh, consider your goal in this okay is it one that is um, are you seeking fame and fortune and extravagance or are you seeking simplicity and transcendence of self are you seeking consistency true stable relationships which one seems more appealing here <laughs> So while, okay, yeah, I, I get a lot of requests as a feng shui consultant and practitioner. I want wealth, I want fame, um, and these are all beautiful and there's no shame in desiring these. But the true peace of mind comes when we have a sense of a greater than ourselves. We are part of a greater than ourselves and we really truly desire our consistency and stability and transparency and the relationships and the life around us we want to feel connected and we want to feel whole so in your goal can you find an alignment can you find that your goal is moving along towards these traits of consistency and stability and a greater transcendence of yourself or is it supporting somewhat of a greater good that's where you're really going to feel satisfied and you're not going to keep chasing the next best thing and when you have this true grace it's going to exude it's going to bubble up from your core and exude and it's going to attract in everything with so much ease and beauty and even more grace and it's going to feel easier okay <laughs> so real true satisfaction in living in a life and actualizing our goals comes from a nurturing of this very simple path I we almost make it more complicated we do every time make it more complicated than it needs to be in this craving of extravagance when when really when we find this simple and ease and and a simple path to um, to a real um, stable desire and that you can be in the same oh gosh see I this is I'm gonna come back to this but I don't plan these this is just generated randomly okay so when we are able to find a joy in the simplicity and a true joy that is serving the greater good it shines and attracts perhaps something that others may feel is um, extravagant but it's when we go for that fame and like extreme fortune and extravagance like off the gate um, where we're like not quite happy but if you come to it if you walk into it from a place of joy and exuberance and it flows to you um, it's received easier it's not as forceful it's not as high energy or young where you might feel overwhelmed have you ever fallen into, and this happens occasionally, right? When you fall into a fortune or a, a job um, that is outside of your means that you've never done before, it feels overwhelming. And this happens to people when they have the lottery and they, they have like all this money come to them at once and it brings all of this um, you know, misfortune and attacks and burglaries and relationships fall apart. But on the flip side, there's times when people just live in their true authenticity and joy and opportunities flow to them and also comfortable living and also beautiful things that they desire. Also relationships that are true and authentic and loving um, and respectful and consistent because they, they, they uh, match up with the authenticity. They're not they're not falling for pretenses. Um, it is what it is. So you want to find in this goal, and this is what it's advising, you're going to find this grace and beauty and the trueness of what everything is. Look inside yourself for guidance. Look to your higher self. Rely on the endurance that you've generated 
in all of your life experiences and come to really be friends with your intuition. How is your intuition triggered? Do you feel it in your gut? Do you get goosebumps? Let me know in the comments how you receive your intuition. This will tell me a little bit about you. And ultimately, if you rely on yourself, your true self, your authentic self, and let that be what you're putting out into the world at this time, you're going to be continuing with a great endurance towards your goal and actualizing. So this is what's going to lead you to success um, and ease. It's going to feel great. It's going to feel fun. Um, so yeah, ease is what we desire, right? Ease and flow. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, these words are really um, popular to use when you are a consultant. So let's come back to what the words of wisdom are for us at this time. So again, these are not pre-programmed. I want you to write this down in your notebook. Take a screenshot if you must, um, but really come to know these words because words carry frequencies that can heal. Words carry frequencies that can take us down, but these are empowering words of wisdom, and these are special for you to be able to harmonize your emotional aura field right now. Find an empowering way way to relieve stress. Okay, so let me know if this resonates with you. I want you to write it down. I want you to write it down nine times. Nine times is a highly auspicious number. Write it in cursive so you integrate these words with all of the areas of your brain and your um, subconscious, all the levels of your awareness. And that is a tool and tip and technique that I love to share here. It was passed down to me by one of my friends and trainers in, um, in using this software, the SRC for you. Um, and, you know, dear, dear friend and very, very smart, um, one of the developers. And um, this is very, very useful in empowering your affirmations to be really effective. Um, my grandmaster in uh, feng shui, um, Professor, Grandmaster Professor Lin Yun recommends using the number nine because nine symbolizes completion. It's a heavenly number. Um, use it often, especially when you're working with affirmations and mantras, okay? Once you deeply envision your goal, really feel the joy, really feel the empowerment. Um, empowerment, I think, is the word of the day outside of ease and flow. Okay, so I'm gonna send you some supercharged frequencies before we go as I head out, close out this session, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, ease and flow and what that means. Let me minimize my picture here. In this, I'm gonna be charging you. You're gonna be receiving these frequencies. I love to send you each abundance, always. Clarity. Ease. Flow. here, ease and flow, and how about also as we're talking about the ancient Yi Jing, um, oh gosh, authenticity, love of self, authenticity, be yourself at this time, really focus on it, don't put yourself back, if you feel it, say it, be, you know, really strong in your communication, so strong communicator. Um, I'm just going to say self-worth worth in another way if that resonates more with you. And also, simplicity. Um, let's say, I want to say something transcendence. And um, security. There's no reason to fear right now. We're creating this, um, this journey. And let's also say, I think I said simplicity. It doesn't have to be hard. You know, as they say in the law of attraction, hitch your, hitch your wagon to the one that, that is already headed in that direction, the one that's having the most fun. So if you see, um, you know, people in your journey and um, go along with them. You know, it's more fun, right? <laughs> Take the path of least resistance. I don't know how else to say it. It doesn't have to be hard. We make it hard sometimes. And as I'm talking about ease and flow, while these 
frequencies are being sent. I love using words that are reminiscent of a river because as a feng shui practitioner, we manipulate and direct energy. We assess energy as if it is a moving body of water. It should never be stagnant and it should never be rushing. We don't like direct paths that are forceful. Um, we like a beautiful meandering, winding, ease and flow. And when you find that ease and flow, it's the most natural pattern. And so is the rhythm of the universe. Really embrace an ease and a flow and sometimes let the opportunities carry you to shore. Let there be signs that tip you off to the direction that you need to take. Um, look for the signs, be a receiver of the signs, be open to the possibilities. You don't have to force everything. And believe me, it's far more fun when you approach life in that way um, with a wonder and awe and appreciation for the nature and the joy and the beauty and the grace all around us. With that being said, I hope that this has given you some insight. Um, it was really fun um, getting to know this week's energy and I hope that it resonates with you and I hope that you move forward with a great grace and beauty and endurance, continued momentum, a meandering momentum and forward motion towards that goal that you wrote down. And maybe you need to watch this again. Keep that goal in mind as you recap it. If you get any downloads, I want to hear about them. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you reached your goal. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate even the small ones. Again, I'm Lisa Aubin. I am a Feng Shui Master and Quantum Energy Alignment Practitioner. I am getting ready to onboard um, new students into the May program with my partner in crime, Steve Koda of the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui. And so we begun our discovery calls. If you want to get to know us and have a complimentary 20 minute discovery call, follow the link provided in the description. You can reach out to me via email or the comments below and I answer each and every one of them. It is a sincere honor and with so much gratitude, thank you so much for tuning in, liking and subscribing and sharing with those that may help and resonate. And I love getting to know you. I can't wait to see you next week. Um, so much love and many blessings times nine.